Hey guys, JV here, and I just wanted to hop on the mic, make this video today to share my excitement for Mass Effect Andromeda. I know you guys already know that I've been very excited for the game, but the combat trailer that just came out two days ago blew me away. I mean, it raised my ridiculous hype level to another ridiculous hype level. I just, I love what I saw, and I wanted to share those thoughts with you guys. Also, look at this. Before we had partial nudity, now we have full nudity which means alien sex confirmed you know you can pack it up if you were if you were if you were on board for that it's coming you better be ready so anyways guys when i first saw this trailer yesterday the other day i i couldn't like contain myself like i had tears not like sobbing but my eyes were watering because i was realizing how amazing this thing looks i mean for me i come from a perspective of you know, I'm very optimistic, right? When I see a new game, I'm like, oh my god, it looks amazing. I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to learn more about it. You know, sometimes that bites me in the butt because I get too hyped about a game. And, you know, that's just my fault, I guess. But I'm not going to change who I am. That's just who I am. That's how I react to games. But holy shit, these open world looking environments. I know Bioware said they're not open world. The diversity of the environments, just how you can move around these battles is so refreshing and I think the reason it's so refreshing for me is because I've been playing through the first game and the second game as you guys know I've been streaming it and you know Shepard feels a little heavy he feels a little clunky he feels like he's wearing very heavy boots and that's just not the case with Andromeda we're gonna be jumping around we're gonna be dashing and thrusting getting around enemies it's gonna be less of a cover you know based third person shooter fest right where you're just hunkering down into cover. I know we're <laughs> hunkering down into cover right here, but it's going to be less of that. It's going to be a lot more fluid. I think that's the best way to describe this gameplay. It's fluid. You're going to be able to approach all of these situations in a variety of ways because you're not weighted down by that feeling. And I just can't say enough about these open world looking environments. I know the game is not open world, but holy shit, it sure looks like it. It looks as close as possible as we're going to get to open world with Mass Effect. What I also love about this trailer is the UI. Everything about the UI. First off, it still screams Mass, Mass Effect, right? You still get this sci-fi kind of feel by looking at the UI, all of these menus, you know, the pause menu, everything at the bottom of the screen right now, like looking at the different hazards for the planets, your squad mates, your mapped powers, which people were worried about only having three mapped powers. I think they confirmed in this trailer that we're going to have different favorites that we can swap in and out in battle that you don't have to mess with. So if I want to swap out, you know, from one set of three to another set of three, I can just do that seamlessly. That's at least the, the drift that I got from what they were saying. Also, people were complaining about her face, Sarah Ryder's face. Look at that face. How can you complain about that? I know I, I don't want to make this video from a place of like, oh, I told you so. But holy shit. I mean, there were so many people who were like, Andromeda looks bad. I haven't seen the game yet but I'm an authority and I can tell you that it's going to be a bad game or Andromeda's trash, you know, that terrible kind of culture that's for some reason plaguing our community right now. It's toxic as fuck, right? But I feel like the same people that are saying Andromeda looks bad are the ones that are still calling Fallout 4 a bad game 15 months later. <laughs> like, I can't make a Fallout 4 video on the channel without hundreds of comments being like, yeah, Fallout 4 was shit tier, bad game. Bethesda sucks. It's insane. I feel like that's the same kind of crowd that was being hypercritical about Mass Effect Andromeda. We haven't seen enough of the game yet. I know it's kind of like, okay, well, JV, you haven't seen enough of the game yet, you know, either. So how can you say it's going to be really good? How can you watch this gameplay and not think it looks really good? How can you not be excited about how much we're going to get to explore? You know, the variety of the gameplay with all the skills. I know, you know, with the classes, that is something that some people don't like. There's a difference between reasonable criticism and unreasonable criticism. You know, criticism that comes from a place of fear where you're like, ah, oh, it's not going to be good. Don't expect too much. Yada, yada, yada. Instead of criticism from a place of, oh, OK, well, I'm cautiously, you know, I'm cautious, right? I guess the point I'm trying to get across is this gameplay is everything I would have wanted. This is the kind of change that I do want. When games progress, especially when you're going from a trilogy where things were 
pretty much the same and they improved from each game i believe some of the gameplay systems like the combat um you could say they took a step back in mass effect 3 from 2 in a few different ways i mean when people ask me what my favorite mass effect games are i tell them it's one two three in that order it's the original because i don't think it gets enough credit and then it's two which is probably the the best uh overall mass effect game i would say and then it's three but you know when you progress in these games there has to be some kind of evolution right i mean you don't want to evolve for the sake of evolving but there has to be some kind of evolution that's just how it works or else people are going to complain that the game is the exact same why didn't you just make dlc you know <laughs> that's an argument that people actually bring up so i'm just genuinely excited about what i've seen here what you know this mass effect franchise is going to evolve into i know they said they don't have plans for andromeda to become a trilogy yet which is fine with me but this trailer is absolutely a step in the right direction in every way imaginable again i understand the criticism of oh i wish there was more slower tactical combat but i had this conversation on my stream the other day i don't genuinely believe that faster combat means less tactical you know i don't believe that exists i actually do believe that faster paced combat unless you're playing a strategy game right because if you're, when you're playing a strategy game and you're queuing up you know lots of moves in order then that makes sense you want it to be slower paced so you can stop and plan this is not a strategy game this is an action rpg that's what mass effect has always been let's not pretend it's anything otherwise and so i am a big believer in the fact that fast paced combat is an upgrade from slower paced combat in this genre it just it just makes sense you look at every other game in this genre and they are moving towards that and it and it actually does make sense i mean some people will look at and uh Ma not mass effect at dragon age inquisition and be like oh god if andromeda is anything like the awful dragon age inquisition then we're screwed and that's just not true that's another one of those bandwagon hate games that people just love to hate it's like oh yeah inquisition that was the worst you know uh, Bioware really screwed up on that one. I refuse to believe that. I really do believe that fast-paced combat in this genre is where it should be going. And again, fast-paced combat doesn't have to be not tactical. It can be super fucking tactical. It really can. What I do really need though, let, let me let me hammer this down, and I haven't seen it yet, is the ability to pause the game and queue up attacks. And I kind of have a feeling that they got rid of it because I haven't seen it yet maybe they will come back to it this is a combat trailer so I would think that if you know stopping combat completely pulling up the power wheel and queuing up attacks if that was truly in the game still then they would have shown it in this trailer that makes sense to me but they didn't so it kind of makes me feel like it's not in the game again I would wish that it is there because that is kind of a tactical aspect that I enjoyed but at the same time if you do have this fast-paced combat then it kind of goes against that if you can just suddenly pause the game so we'll have to see on that that would have been something that i would have preferred personally back to the gameplay just look at this pause menu look at all of the combat and tech skills and biotic skills that we're going to be able to mix and match like we haven't ever before it's absolutely insane and i know that's a, another point that people are worried about the fact that there's no concrete classes that was something that initially worried me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It made me cautious, you know, cautious optimism. Like I said, that's kind of where I always stand. I don't <laughs> I don't want to fall into this trap of, oh, it's going to be terrible before I know anything. But yeah, cautious optimism. I was a little bit worried about that. But, you know, Bioware has provided a lore reason for that. It's because we're the Pathfinder. We are this genetic, not genetically modified. Maybe we're genetically modified. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But we are this Pathfinder. We are equipped with these implants that we can switch in and out, which I think they said they're going to have another video on that. They're going to have another video that focuses more on the kind of class part of the game, even though there aren't any classes. All of the skills are going to be available to us. It just, you know, depends on what we choose. And eventually you can get all the skills in the game, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, we can see that Sarah Ryder, actually that's that's blocked by my big head, but um, Sarah Ryder in this gameplay is level 70. She's level 70, so that's really high up. I mean, that's, that's like a lot of level progression, which is really exciting for me, right? Like, that should be a lot of gameplay. Unless we're leveling up extremely quickly, there should be a lot of game to play if we're going to level up to 70, and that's not unlocking everything. I mean, who knows? Maybe... Level 100, maybe higher than level 100 is the maximum level, which is exciting for me. I have been someone to come out and say I don't like when games don't have classes, and I don't like when I can unlock everything because I do like to make those hard choices. 
But you know what? This game looks so good that I'm keeping an open mind. You know, I don't like the Skyrim way of doing things. I much prefer the Fallout 3 or Oblivion way of doing things. Not Fallout 4, because in Fallout 4, you you know, you can level up infinitely and unlock everything. So I hope that's not something that kind of, you know, drains my uh, hype for it or my excitement or my enjoyment of the game. So guys, to kind of wrap up my thoughts, this trailer did it for me. This had me sold. I was already sold on the game. This had me double sold. This had me like, I want to buy the game twice, even, even though I'm not going to, because that would be ridiculous. Why would I do that, right? This trailer did it for me, and I am beyond excited for the game. I mean, this game hopefully is going to have me playing for months and months on end. So I'd love to hear what you guys thought about the trailer, even though, you know, I shared my thoughts here. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about this trailer, if this made you more excited, if it made you worried for any reason. I'd love to have kind of an open conversation with you guys in the comments below. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to hit that like button. Remember to subscribe for more of this kind of content. I'm going to be doing a ton of Andromeda on the channel, so you don't want to miss that. And I will talk to you next time.